One thing we need to examine a little bit further when we're talking about um, certain immunities or certain um, frequencies of illnesses um, comparing Rh negative and Rh positive people or separating it by blood types, period, is that we need to look at behavior. There is a possibility that uh, difference in behavior has a very strong impact on why certain groups, people with certain blood types, are less likely to get certain diseases. And what I'm looking at right now is that, uh, you know, for example, the Jewish people, when they were, you know, why were they less likely to uh, be affected by the Black Plague? A lot of this could be due to cultural behavior and isolation and not just genetic predisposition, even though I haven't looked into this too much yet. But the reason that I'm coming up with it at this moment is that, um, you know, in the Bronze Age, it looks like there was a much higher percentage of Irish negative people uh, than it is today. For example, the steppe population may have had as high as 40% Irish negatives, in some regions even more, like the location where Ukraine is currently. And that's uh, basically the Yamna culture. And uh, today, the Scots and the Irish, basically the Celtic people, have on the, on the male side, the YDNN side, the highest percentage of ancestry. So the question is, and the hunter-gatherers also had, gee, like, I don't know, 25% RH negatives among them, or maybe 30% even. And they were basically the ancestors of the Basques for a large part. But, you know, Basque people have, uh, that doesn't justify why Basques today still have such a high frequency of Irish negatives among them. Or does it? Well, the thing is, we need to, we need to wonder now why the percentages have gone down so much. And of course, you know, when the Yamna people migrated towards the British Isles, they mixed, you know, the, they mixed a lot with the women that were currently present at the time, so that could have brought down the frequency drastically. But you also need to think about, when we are we're talking about, you know, why are Rh negative people less likely to get HIV? Well, maybe we are more cautious. Maybe Rh negative people are more health oriented. Maybe we are more in tune with ourselves. Maybe we have a behavior that benefits us. But it could have also been that there were certain attributes that gone against us in the past. Or just arch negative people mixed with the ones, arch negative men mixed a lot with women from tribes that are at a much lower frequency, which could easily be the case. Read my new article about why RH-negative blood frequencies have gone down in Europe.